Magnussen, Danish astronaut, 400 kilometers above Earth in the international. So here we go, Norway in the all blue throw off against France in the all white here in the women's handball championship. Great with you for this game. Wonderful atmosphere in this arena. 12,000 spectators. We understand in excess of 2,000 Norwegians have made the trip here. Oh, to the line! Brilliant save early on. Played on through the pain barrier. Certainly given a break in the uh, defensive role. Flip and Nziminko either side of her. Torpa on the line. First shot is taken. Steps inside. Zadi. And Zeminko into the wing, Valentini, and the first goal to France. Quick throw off is taken by uh, Norway. And Heistad equalizes. Is it going to be another one of those days for the legendary left back for Norway? Oh, smug. Hammered it in. Pushed up but onto the bar by Solberg. Like to dive in, find a little bit of space in the defense. Estadal has got a nice little uh, wrist shot. Oh, Ordal complete. Fleet races in. On again. Again, as France go deep in defence. Fulpa trying to isolate them, but instead, he Leistad has gone all the way around. So much room. 24-year-old scores. Zadi. Flip, oh, basically thought about the spot, but that's a poor shot. And the break is on. Oh. Came back out again to collect the ball. Attacking foul in Zip. Heistad Erfdedal comes around. And French defence push up and Erdal thinks about using the space. Hand off looking for the line. Penalty, both the defenders steps up to take the penalty. She scored 11 from 15 in this championship and puts that one away as well. Final in Zeminko, Valentini, flip on the ball now, together with Nocondi and uh, Buktit were there. She scored all the extra time goals, including literally a buzzer beater from nine metres. A little like that, the goal of the game for Reistad. Lord, oh. now on 36 goals, quick throw off taken into the wing. Heren, big angle, puts it under the keeper. Huge cheer from the Norwegian fans. Not particularly reassuring, but with every match they got a little bit stronger and always seemed to do in Norway. Oh, sidestep, Bakkerud and scores! Coming up to 10 minutes played. And that's down from the wing as a second line. Oof, ball fumble. There's no space in the wing. Norway got back very quickly this time. Looks for the line. On. And potentially knock on the to give... Uh, Zadi, another break. France have turned the bench very well during this competition. And defending inside the area by Horacek, who's bundled away by uh, line player Wilder Ingstad. With uh, Laura Glosser and Vas Zadi. And Flip at CSM Bucharest in Romania. No problem for Merck. Second penalty of the game. They've now got Granville, who's technically a playmaker at Nantes, number 34, playing as a right back. Penalty, managed to turn, and that's going to be a two-minute suspension. Bakarud, the defence specialist for Norway, is off. She's been a bit hit and miss with penalties, 10 from 15. Scores that one, though. Start for a bit. She's getting her, her own rest at the moment. Fulpa pushes up, pushed it out. All the way through, penalty, and a two-minute suspension. Fulpa. <laughs> Hasn't saved any of the 11 penalties she's faced so far. And not that one either. No, it scores a third and the two goal lead stays. On the line, Granvo has mentioned earlier, right back with Nokondi and uh, Canor, who immediately gets going, the 25 year old. She's got one of the biggest jumps. Intercepted, the empty goal is there, yes! And with 14 minutes coming up, they are level, courtesy of an empty goal. Short-handed, remember, but it's a power play for the Norwegians. They've got the goalkeeper out, Öfterdal. Score not. Nukondi has gone to the right-hand side. Drops in to try and put the block on, Canor switches back. 
comes in the game, well marked. Dela comes up to her very early. Go back down one, midway through the first half. 10-9, Norway. After that, goes hunting, looks for the line, misses the connect. Norwegians, the wings, all the way, right through. And take the lead back again. End-to-end -end stuff here, after that. Brilliant. The front defence fell apart a little there. Bukti didn't connect with Uftedal. And after that, they were in trouble. They were... Two saves for Solberg. Three for Glosser so far. Granville switches out. Zadi nearly dropping the ball. She's back in again. 16th goal of the competition for her. And Uftedal. The main round match between these two teams. 24, 23, beautifully done. Well, Lunde goes in goal, but it makes no difference. But in at uh, left back, Weistad still on a break. At the moment, Ingstad in on the line. Dela, and again a penalty. And Dela not coming in particularly fast. They'll be annoyed with themselves, the French. It's Merck. Merck scores. <laughs> Past the 850 goals for Norway. Good Stale, Silja Solberg in goal. All play for Hungarian champions Jur with the French captain and Zeminko. Breaks towards the middle, and that's a goal for Lucie Granier, who's just come on to replace Toublon on the right wing. That's very wide. Heron comes around looking for better territory. Mer changed over. The entire lineup. Free throw only. Philippe looks to the referee. Mitondi hands off. Philippe has a look. Oh! She doesn't go in for two months. She's been suffering badly from flu ever since before the semi final. Oh, I start back at her best again. Fourth goal comes on and immediately. Oh, no. Oh, yes! Well, a kind of a desperate loss for Stan Shaw. Technically a right back, but... Uh, oh, the steal is on! And Ziminko races away and scores! Nice, that chased her all the way. And couldn't catch her. Quick throw off. Beautifully done. First goal of the game for Horton. And it's a two-minute suspension for France as well. Goal for France, well, that suspension is on, and a fumble, the ball goes out. In return from them either, both teams defending superbly. De La, whoa, attacking foul. Well, they put on the extra attacker. No Condi, penalty. Back player. Puts that one in the top corner. Three goal lead for France. They led for the first time in the last minute of normal time before Denmark equalised. Oh, two sides of the square. But Norway can soak up the pressure, they will stay calm. I start attacking foul again. But, uh, I'm sure that uh, Kumholtz will think I'm not really going to use her unless I really have to. Good. 350th international, great day to do it. I start. Oh, the break is through, stumble into the wing, Holden. Second of the game. Line up across the back than they had at the beginning. The left wing, Valentini, as we know, has been back in, not only because of a defensive skill, that's a penalty. That's put away well. Oh, that check. He's had a mixed bag of success on uh, the seventh. Ingstad, or Skogan, rather, goes back in again, and uh, Merck has returned to the fray, too. Waits on the far side. Freistad, penalty. Caught Merck against Glusser, again. And scores! Five penalties now for Nora. Bravo into the wing. Decent angle, clips the post wide. And one year on the right wing. Oh, no one there. So, France throw off the second half of the final here at the Women's Handball World Championships in Herning, Denmark, to break. France to resume. Uh, almost the same lineup as the first half, and immediately Toublon gets a second. The only difference is that uh, way the same. Reistad, Merck, and Uftedal have started at the back.
Change the keeper, though, for them. Oh, how did she do that? Did very well to catch it, Valentini, but couldn't stabilise herself enough. And Lunde makes save number five. Perem is still there. Merck races in. Oftedal attacking back player. Nziminko, too many steps. Still on. Decent attacker, Bakarul. Oh, fumbled the ball. And away goes Nziminko. Puts it wide. Could come back to haunt them. They said, which was a defence masterclass here today, we've been treated to an attacking masterclass. Penalty, Fopa. She's been asking for the ball again and again, and we've got a two-minute suspension. She may have put Fopa in the face. Ingsta stands up. Lunde playing mind games with her at the back. And it works! She saves. She stood completely to one. Switch to a 5 one defence. They're individually marking Reistad, but that's danger for them. Merck and Oftedal with space, they suck the defence in. Perret, but there was too much power on it. It goes right through. They're back to within two. And another. Oh, soft one, but it goes in. They're back to full strength again now, Norway. France go back to a 6-0, and this could spell danger for France. Those lovely long-range efforts. All right. And off. Uh, space. Hammers it through and suddenly it's all go again. Much as uh, I'm sure Fleet will have said to the coach at half-time, I'm feeling better, coach, you can put me back on again. He will be very reluctant. She looked uh, extremely unwell when she was taken off. What a loss. You only left-handed back. Flat. Ball carrier. Push out and mark the other players. After that, into the wing. Oh, good save. Passive play is there. Canor takes it. It goes wide. 25 seconds on the power play, Norway. After that, shot taken. Set. Having to shoot almost across her body. She comes again. Oh, lost the momentum. Into the line, Horacek brings it out, and more passive play! And Fupa wins and make it! Different tactics, so close, Solberg gets a hand on it, but it's not enough. Heren comes around, tries to put a bit of a block on to create space. Reistad! Fupa tried to get up, but got there late, and pays the price. The Caption on screen is just an indicator. Cano, that save, flowing, attacking first half. The defensive game here. France attacking foul because the uh, Norwegians come straight back. Sako is becoming much more of a fight with the defense. Oftedal, Reistad, penalty. Competition. And still so. As Nora Merck gets a face on the last attack when the uh, penalty was conceded. Into the line. Fupa turns and scores! Reistad comes in close. Ball is hand strapped. Right thumb. That's the second half. Into the wing. Score run. Reistad now. Oh, and it's saved! And maybe the change was not such a good idea. The French keeper. Still more of an attacking than a defender's day here today. No Candy! Fan! Horacek racing on. Oh, sidestepped. Final. On the ball now. Back to the centre. And he's in the the captain. Goes inside. Bravo! Penalty defence. And Lunde again to the rescue. Brilliant. Dela into the wing, huge angle. Having a good game here, three goals so far. Cano, oh, long range effort. Oh, Sako, and that's going to be a two minute suspension. Uh, with Ingstad and Bratzet Dali on the line. Oh, missed the connection. And a let-off out to the captain in Zimminko. 
Trying to go in the middle to draw as much as she can for a right-hander from that angle. Oh, and Brad Sedale looking for Heron. Didn't see Bravo coming. Zeninko tries to release the ball. They're getting the goalkeeper back in now, and they've used too many passes. Brad Sedale comes out, drops in, and another steal. Fupa! Poor pass to the line on the power play, followed now by that. And the French trying to take their chances, but it's still far from over. Oh, beautiful, and Granville again. Around on the line, rather. Merck tries again. That's stolen. Lofted ball. Oh, what the... They could rue them at the end of the game, France. After that, breaks and Helen's away. Gets the ball one-handed and scores, and they are on the comeback. This is the moment that France have got to dig deep with five minutes remaining next year. Doing the Danes a huge favour. Bravo. Oh! Around comes Skogran. Handed to... Oh, what a pass! Penalty. The save counts for nothing. Ingstad fouled in the act of shooting. Steps up. But Merck scores! To take the turn, she's got to come in sharp, being a... Oh! <laughs> and a save by Saku, and it goes out behind! A huge save! Two minutes to go! Norway's friend here in this game. Kano tries to get free, that's an attacking... Merck. We're into the last minute. They almost don't seem to realise the oath. Twice in a row at the team timeout called. The they have shaken the Norwegians. Valentini trying to do a little bit of... The bench has started already. Erftedal hands it off and there it goes. And France defending champions Norway here in the final in Herning. By... <laughs>